Jordan just spoke in there and expressed his frustration with not being able to, to kind of finish guys off, guys fouling off pitches. What were you seeing from him today? Yeah, that. I mean, they they were just putting together tough at bats. Even the guys he was retiring, you know, extended at bats on them. Um, you know, the handful of mistakes they made. You know, looked like he was trying to go in there to Marte, left it on the plate. He, he homers. Um, looked like he kind of pulled the ball a little bit with, with Escobar, probably trying to go down the way there, kind of left it down and in. Um, and, and then uh, Alonzo had a good pitch. So just a tough night. They were on him um, and, and made it difficult. And, and then the few mistakes he made, they, you know, they hit for extra bases or out of the ballpark. It seemed like he was surprised that you had come out to get him. Do you like the fact that he wanted to stay out there? Did you have an additional yeah, conversation I, with look, him? Yeah, that's the thing about Monty. You know, he's he always wants the ball, wants to compete, wants to, whether it's going great or you know a night like tonight where it's strugg you know he's struggling, he wants to compete. But you know, at that point where you know just the kind of at bats they were having against them, you know, being up over 70 pitches already there in the third inning, you know, um, I just felt like that was the time. IKF had a couple hits today. He's been swinging the bat pretty well overall. Why did you like Gallo in that situation in the eighth? Well, one, to f you, I mean, you got Adovino in there, who's who's obviously a tough righty. It's not about getting a hit in that situation, about getting on, or and you're up against it there with two outs, you know, taking a shot at, at a long one there. So, it <clears throat> that's the Adovino component, and then forcing their hand, you know, to at least get the closer in there for for a four out situation. Um, yeah, so it's just, you know. It's not man on tie and run on second. It's we need two runs, and on first, Otto's pretty pretty tough against righties. To me, it's an on base situation, and Joey gives gives you. I felt like Joey gives the shot at that. Aaron, thanks, uh, Aaron. Uh, how long do you expect Stanton to be out? And if it's extended, do you think you'd need another outfielder? Well, we got Le Castro today. We, we called him up for him, so we did get another outfielder. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't think you have more of a higher level outfielder that you can get in a trade. Well, I mean, well, I, I mean, I don't know. We we got you know we got plenty of guys to choose from that are capable of 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 doing the job. So, kind of focus on that. You know, we'll see where the next week brings us. You never know what what can happen. Um, but uh, and as for how long, we'll see. You know, I, I don't expect it to be that way. Everything and just watch the way he's throwing the ball. To me, it's as good as he's thrown the ball in about 12 months. You know, um, you know, going back to the first couple of months of last season, that's encouraging. We got to stack those together, continue to get good outings, and and you know, get that chappy confidence to follow next and, and then he becomes real dangerous but we're seeing encouraging signs from a stuff standpoint from from his strike throwing so we'll keep building to the left Joel Aaron two, two things do you think there's any chance that the way you're starting pitchers pitch the first three months of this season essentially that they used up a lot of gas in the tank and you're seeing some of the results of that now because your rota rotation for about three weeks or so has not nearly been as good as it was. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I chalk that up a little ebb and flow. You know, Garrett's, I feel like, in a really good spot throwing the ball well. Obviously, Seve, when he went down, was throwing the ball really well. And hopefully that's something that in the long run ends up maybe even serving Seve well, you know, the, as far as the timing and, and maybe the innings drag there. Really encouraged by uh, Nestor's last couple outings. So, um, and really Jordan's been throwing the ball really well for a month. You know, today was a struggle, obviously. So, I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it wasn't going to be perfect all year, and, and we've had a couple bumpy ones here, but... Um, I still think they're all in a pretty good spot to go out and perform. And, and just as a follow-up, I wonder if it's the answer to this is ebb and flow also. Just your team hasn't been as yeah. crisp for about um, you know the last month as it was. Maybe it's impossible to play as well yeah. as you did, but I wonder what you think about the overall tenor of your club right now. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, we've, we've, we, we've lost a handful of games. Um, you know, I think back the last couple of weeks, 
that were kind of that go any either way that we were winning all the time early. Um, you know, tough to keep up that pace. Um, you know, we, coupled with we can play better. You know, we're we're playing about as good as you can play. We've we've played a little less than that so far, and haven't pulled out some of those games we we're pulling out. Um, but, you know, I feel like these last few days we're starting to – I feel like as a group we're having good at bats. One of the things that's that's kind of plagued us here, you know, Saturday and against Baltimore um, and then tonight is just not being able to cash in enough. You know, uh, we obviously had the back-to-back -back homers and then, you know, really – just about every inning we had opportunities and weren't able to punch through so that's happened a little bit and 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 that's kind of the difference when you're playing some of these close games you know where we're pretty consistently pushing through and winning those games we've lost a few of those here over this stretch and um, you know that's part of it but but we also know we can be a little bit better